Hey guys, tonight we're going to be making a rice and broccoli casserole. And the first thing we've got to do is go ahead and get our rice and our broccoli on. My water's already boiling. I've got three cups for my rice, and this is parboiled rice. So you jump in a half a cup of one and one half cup of this parboiled rice to three cups of water, and this is a serving for about six people, and that's a lot of rice. Okay? And you don't have to wait for your water to boil. You can go ahead and stick that in there. And we're gonna put some butter in there. Whoops. We're gonna put some butter on there and there. And we're gonna get it on the counter. And everywhere else. Just throw that away. Okay. Now this is boiling. Put your top on. Turn it down to a simmer, okay? You want this real low. Okay, let's see. And my water's just about to boil. You're gonna put about 20 ounces of um, broccoli. Thank you, yes. I'm trying to see how much. This is actually three pounds, and there's 52 ounces in this, and I've already used some for another casserole. Just use whatever you got. Once you see how much broccoli you got, you can kind of see what size container you want to do. At least that's what I do. I just kind of wing it. Which is horrible for a cooking show. You're just going to wing it. Okay. And my broccoli is frozen really, really, really good. And you just want to boil that long enough for it to cook. Your rice is going to take about 20 minutes to cook. Um, you do not want to take your lid off of the rice. Your broccoli, you just want to get it, um, since it's so cold, it's going to kind of bring that temperature down. You want to boil it bring it to a boil and just let it boil for a few minutes. So once we do that, we're gonna come back, we're gonna mix all the ingredients together and then we will make our casserole. Okay, it's been about five, seven minutes, something like that, and the broccoli is already ready. It smells good. As you can tell, really all you're doing is just getting that broccoli nice and soft. And then we are going to drain the water out of that and wait for our rice to cook. Okay guys, the broccoli cooked very quickly, the rice took a little bit longer, but they are both done now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start combining everything. And I can't decide if I want to put it all in one bowl separately or just, I think I'm just going to put it in this one to keep from having to dirty another bowl. That off. Let's go ahead and mix this just a little bit. I'm trying to keep from scraping the bottom there. That's a horrible noise that I can't stand. Okay. Now. <clears throat> and you're going to want to put about a cup of mayonnaise in here. I do not have my measuring cup because they're all dirty. So I've been cooking. That's, I don't know. That's close enough, right? Before I mix that too much more, let me go ahead and add the two eggs. Sometimes you put this, when I just do a regular broccoli casserole, when I do a regular broccoli casserole, I put this just on top. For this one, we are going to mix it in with all of the ingredients. And you don't want to beat this too much, just lightly beat it, it says. Ooh, look, egg everywhere. That was excellent. Okay, so you just want to pour that in there. Okay. Alright guys, I mixed everything up. I put my eggs in and the cream of mushroom, the cup of mayonnaise, and the broccoli, and the rice. And then we're going to put a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Okay. Mix that in real good there. And this would also be good um, if you want to make this for a main meal instead of like a side dish. Some chicken in there. That's real good. Add some cheese in. And that should just about do it. I'm just kidding. We're in the south. 
We're going to put a lot of cheese in here. You can do about a cup. What I like to do is <clears throat> add about four cups. We'll put a little bit in here and go ahead and mix this in. Right, so we're going to put crackers on the top of this bad boy. So we're going to add all of the cheese. A little bit more. Um, I've got everything mixed together and I've got my 9 by 13 pan and I sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray and I put the oven on 350 so it's preheating now. And you just dump all of this in here. Just spread your casserole out evenly. Now I am going to spread just a teeny tiny bit more cheese on the top. And I'm also going to put, you can put Ritz crackers or club crackers or I guess even regular crackers, but um, I like to use Ritz, but tonight I am going to be using club crackers because my children found the Ritz crackers and they ate them. And here, my oven is preheated to 350. Oops, and my bag's busted. Okay. You just want to kind of evenly put your crack. Okay. My crackers are not crackering correctly because it's busted at the wrong end. And if you don't want to get these too fine, you want them, you know, you want them a little, you little large pieces. Okay. Now, let's see if we can correctly do this. You can put a little bit of butter on top of this if you like. I normally don't because it seems like it makes it burn to me. Okay, and then you just, if you have clean hands, just smooth that out a little bit. Okay, and now you're going to stick this in the oven. 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. we got to make sure that egg cooks good. All right, well, as soon as that's done baking, we will come back and we will give it a look and give it a little taste test. Okay, guys, here it is, and it looks really good. It's going to make a really good side dish, and that would be really good with um, maybe some um, chicken, like I said before. Uh, maybe add a little bit of sour cream, and that would be really good, so... Um, we're going to, um, I guess we're going to eat now. It's time to eat. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and, um, we're going to have some more videos coming up soon. So, if there's something that you would like for me to make, let me know. See you next time. Bye.